Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Biomutant. Okay, so we have to collect the tribe weapon. It's the Netra Claw Chain. Okay, now we have to return to out of date, so at least that's going to be nice and quick. We can just teleport over. Out of date says there'll be consequences of the war, but there are more pressing matters at hand. The last World Eater has been left undisturbed with the tree while you focused on the war. He thought someone with your light perspective and key would have had different priorities and faced the World Eaters before resolving the tribe war. Regardless, out of date is grateful the tribe war is over. Out of date understands the road has been rough, but you already know what's left to end this journey, and it'll be tough. You're the only one that's strong enough to face the last world eater. The future depends on someone with a light perspective to give the world a chance to survive. Put the water. Only time will tell what the future holds, and if it will bring a lasting peace for those that make it to the end. Out of date says the word about what you've done so far is spreading. The tribes haven't lost hope yet. Yeah, move for boom. He appreciates what you've done so far, but unfortunately, he's had urgent news from his friend Wiz in the northwest. He's unsure about your intentions, but hopes you'll support Wiz. He says he'll point you in the right direction, but finding Wiz and making sure he gets what he needs is up to you. That doesn't sound good. Out of date's hunch is real. The Merc Puff is up next. Out of date says that Wiz is worried now that the Northwest World Eater is stepping up its activity. He explains that Wiz is working on an undersurf vessel in order to get to the World Eater, but needs help to get it done. Miami. Out of date suggests that you should head northwest as fast as possible and see what you can do to help. He's happy to help. Says you need to say hi to Lobo. She made the most amazing gullblimp. Says talking to you was interesting. He guesses you're back for more. He says you really need to go see Wiz as soon as possible. He guesses you're back for more. So, says you covered the important things already. Okay, so I was actually... Just wanted to check that to see if there was anything different that would have come up. Oh my god, look at these things. Did that thing blink? Whoops. I was actually trying to zoom in there. Okay, so we've got to go... Like, pretty far away. I don't think I'm able to fast travel in here. No, I can't. Okay, so I'll go outside. I actually don't even think I can actually fast travel anywhere close to where that... Uh, whiz is.
sometimes your mind creates an illusion where it's possible to go back in time to relive a moment in your life. Okay, so I decided I'd do this. This is the Mirage. I actually have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my god, this guy is beating the shit out of me. Okay, we all so. <laughs> have things in our past we wish hadn't happened, and can come to remember seeing and doing things that never happened. However, there's no doubt that what you remember makes your future different. Choose the automaton functionality you want to recall. You weren't supposed to know how to start the automaton pew pew pang, but clearly you figured that out way back then. Okay, so I'm actually glad I did that. Oh, why did our mount change? Oh, damn. Okay, I actually, I kind of wish I left it at the mechanical horse now. It was so weird that it actually changed, though. Okay, so yeah, I'm actually glad I done that. I passed that mirage a number of times. And when I was passing it there, I was just like, you know what, fuck it, I'll just do it. Okay, so we're just about here now anyway. Yeah, so I know I'm missing some of those upcycling things. Um, is there any berries around I could catch you? The fuck was that nice? That was off of you, I don't even want you. Yeah, okay, I'm not seeing any of those bushes anyway. Oh, wait a minute. We do have a PSI point though. So I haven't really used those PSI points. I probably should, especially coming up to the last boss. Or what I assume will be the last boss. The Surge Surf Factory. Keep your eye out for Wiz while you're here. Let's see. Okay, so considering we didn't get the last smart guy, I assume this is going to be a smart guy. And hopefully we can try get this guy then. What the fuck is going on here? Okay, that's not creepy at all. Alright, wait a minute. We have another picture over here. Toxanol's mining led to mass deforestation and increased global warming, as nature couldn't absorb the carbon dioxide and greenhouse gas emissions without the trees. These irreversible changes to the climate also contributed to the evolution and modified our genetic code. Yeah, so I'm actually wondering, were these people human before? Or are the humans just gone and these were actual animals? Alright, we can interact with that. I guess we'll just go for it. Okay, so there he is. Wooz isn't easy on the tongue, but I think he says he's happy to see a friendly face. Not too many of those around these days. Says it's good to see you again. He's Wiz. 
You might remember him from the old days when he let you try his octopod? Jim. Wiz remembers you were such a cheery kid, and he's glad to see that light hasn't faded from you, despite the years. But Wiz understands it was a long time ago, and memories get murkier the deeper you go, but says it helps to have friends with you to plumb those depths. They've been here for you since you were a kidling, but when you left, you also chose to distance yourself from everyone that cared for you. Wiz says our memory keeps things for us, preserves them until we are ready to face them again. He knows you've returned to face Looper Lupin, and that confrontation is as inevitable as the tides. He's not surprised that the loss of your family could plunge you into the depths forever, but you've always been able to rise like a bubble to the surface, no matter what. He knows that though the tides of history may push you in one direction, you can always lay your own course. Ultimately, it's your choice. You were the one to be wronged and have lived with the consequences. He believes in consequence as it's a direct result of action. Come toward the light. Good on you. Resist. Resist? That's just a hesitation. Nothing more. Keep telling yourself that. <gasps> just give me this one thing. Asks if you ever think about freedom and whether any of us really has it. Did you make the decisions that brought you here, or are you just a pawn of fate? Glad to hear that. He only wishes he was that sure about himself. Amazed the world is going to continue on, but happy to hear it. Still so many things to invent. Impressed that you fought so hard to keep the world spinning. Thinks you were smart to join with the Myriad. They have a rainbow of ways to approach any problem. Says they're unified in the ways that matter. But that's not nearly as important as this. Wiz says that you should let the past dwell in the depths, but there's something else down there too, gnawing at the Tree of Life. He's named it the Merc Puff. Uliana. This is why he's tinker-tonkering with the octopod, but the lid got stuck, so he needs a big enough tug twister to open it up and let you a go in. He can't leave the surge station, so you must help him find a tug twister. There's a wound up Mecha Fingro in the Mecha Stadium that still has one stuck on its back. Find it, and you'll find the tug twister. He found it stranded on a shore nearby and got Gizmo to help tow it here so they could get to work on it. Toxanol probably made it to go under surf and see the damage they've caused for themselves. Okay, so now we have to go. Uh, let's just have a look at the map and see how far we have to actually travel here. Ah, you son of a bitch. Okay, well, we might find a fast travel point over here. So I'll place a marker there. Look at the notices on that board. No one paid much attention to them, it looks like. Wiz should be around here somewhere, probably taking care of his guppos. A surge surf factory was one of the cleaner ways to make power, until the surf turned into goo and clogged it all up, that is. The power comes from turning the movement of the surf into surge sparks. Sometimes science is beyond belief. There are sure to be more tracks around here. Maybe by the shore. Yeah, okay, we already found him. And that's uh, another side quest that I'm going to leave for now. Or probably forever, realistically. Uh, 
Okay, so how the hell do I get out of here? Okay, so it looks like we're just about at the place. Oh, wait a minute. Is that another one of those berry things? Oh. Did I... Did I get it? So I can't go for it again. So I'm going to assume I did get it. Um, okay, so I'm going to go over to you and see if I can try tame you. Oh yeah, there we go. Right, hold on. Because I actually want to just... Place. Probably cleaned out, but you never know. All right, let's go. Oh, what the fuck? Don't want oh, to shit. point the finger, but the Mecha Stadium is near here. Okay, please don't eat my deer. No! Um... Is it dead? Man, the textures on the fur in this game are just terrible. <laughs> okay, so let's actually get inside here, so. Alright, so. Find a way to open the door. Well I assume oh, it's not it's, yeah, it's not that simple. That's shutting good. Okay, I thought that might open. Um, okay, I guess upstairs. Oh, we got some superb loot. Oh no, we got some rare loot. All right, so this should be easy. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Okay, another bio pint. And I'm assuming that's what we're here for. Let me just uh, grab this thing. Did I get it? I think I did. And this. And there's also another you need to box line over here. Up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left. Make them count. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. You need to loosen the bolts without unsettling it. Okay. Okay, so I'm actually just trying to figure out where these things are. Okay, so 
think that one's right. And then that's white at that side of it. And then that. Okay. That's it. The tug twister's loops. Let's hope it turned the grabbing hand into a helping hand, too. Okay, so just see if there's anything else around here before I actually get up on that thing. What the hell is this? It's legendary whatever it is. Let's equip that. Okay, that is crazy. And I don't really think there's anything else in here unless there's something up here somewhere. Okay, yeah, I don't really see anything else around here. Okay, um, not weird at all. Okay, so we got our hand and I guess we just go down to Wiz. I guess we'll just hop off. There we go. He believed the tug twister would do the trick, but now realizes brute force won't do the trick. You need something slick. Well, he means slick, as in greasy, so you can lube the hinges of the lid. He can't argue against the fact your fur's shiny. He says the lid should open if you sprinkle grease it. Problem is, he's all out. He knows his old friend Choo Choo always keeps his grease sprinklers well filled. He should have an extra that you can borrow. He stresses that you should come back as soon as you've retrieved the grease sprinkler. The murk puff is crunching bark by the minute. It's big enough to make waves beneath the surface, and that's a challenge in itself. But it also has a hard shell, so you need to target its head. Okay, so we're level 17. That is actually much higher level than I actually realized it was. You've reached the end of the line. Bet you can find Choo Choo here. Right, let's just mark this. Oh boy. Let's see. Choo Choo knew you would make it to him one day. All you had to do was follow the steel path. The rails might be getting rusty, but eventually they all converge on him. Goy. Claims rails are like rules. If you follow them the way you're supposed to, everything good in life can roll your way. Says you followed the rails to where you need to be, but tracks have switches in them too. The question is then, will you keep on the same track, or look for a way to hit that switch? You seem like you're on the right track already. He just hopes you don't get sidetracked onto a darker path. Whichever way you go, he wants you to know that the rails never steer you wrong. Stick to them, and they always bring you right to where you're meant to be. Wants to know if you've ever regretted taking one track in life instead of another. If you could go back, would you switch tracks or keep chugging along the one you're on? Likes your sureness, the way you keep at it like a chug-chug with no way to reverse. 
Seems like the world came out of its rut and is chugging toward higher ground again. Can't thank you enough for hitting the brakes and working to turn the world chug around. But let's not get derailed. Says he's surprised to see anyone this far out, but sometimes the wrong train does take you to the right station. As you can see, he didn't plan to make a stop here, but now that he had to, he's really happy to see you. He says his name is Choo Choo. He's been off track since the world started dying, but he's trained his mind to stay positive regardless of the situation. Says sometimes life runs off the rails, but it's always better when they're good and greased. He's convinced the tracks are like the paths our lives take, and you must deal with the outcome, even if you didn't lay them yourself. This time, though, he was sidetracked and needs a new wingnut to get back on track. Wingnuts are easy to find, as they're fitted on any in-front chugga-chugga out there. The challenge is taking them off, so he's happy you're here to do it for him. No, Kasaba. Says he knew you would, like he knows the way the rails run. The Wingnut Chug Tunnel. It goes on forever. Oh, damn, I have to go down below. Okay. Okay, actually, this bit of broken up road is really useful for blocking. Okay, where the hell are you? Here we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'll have to have a look at my upgrades at some stage as well. Oh my god, I came down here, I have to go up there now. Oh, that sucks so much. Okay, so I guess the only way I can go up is probably through here. Whoa, shit. Okay, yeah, I was actually trying to figure out if that would do damage to me. Turns out it does. Alright, let's just shoot a little bit at this guy. Okay. Oh boy, okay. Um, how do I disable this one? Can I just, like, attack it? Doesn't really feel like it. Right. <laughs> oh, shit, shit. Oh, boy. That was actually kind of cool. Alright, so. Can I get rid of this? Oh my god. I just had to shoot it. Oh 
shit! Fucking suicide bomber. Seriously? Oh man, he burst my bubble. Okay, that guy's just blowing himself up. One of them gone anyway, and that's the other one. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I was wondering what was shooting at me from over there. There we go. Okay, so we'll just fast travel back and finish off this mission. Choo Choo says he knew you'd come through. If someone makes a stop at your station, it's for a good reason. But he understands no one gets their tracks greased for free. He'd be happy to part with his spare grease sprinkler, as he believes it's a great fit for any of your business that needs to be unstuck. He keeps it safe in a box on the handcart, in case of emergency. It's on the cart. He wants to keep it close by. In general, you won't have much time to act in case of an emergency. Choo Choo says you should help yourself to the grease sprinkler. It's a versatile tool from the bygone, a last of its kind, so don't let it go to waste. He's convinced you'll put it to good use, as there are lots of stuckies out there that need greasing to open. Says there's no better person to use it. Glad the rails led you right here. It's not a race. You only say that because you're losing. That doesn't mean I'm wrong. No, there are lots of other reasons you're wrong. Gongbata? Choo Choo says he can't wait to get out of this place. Lakato? You're going to need something that protects you in order to descend under surf. Why? The influence of the Myriad tribe has increased with your help. Says you should take it easy. Choo Choo says he can't wait to get out of this place. So, says you covered the important things already. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna end up episode here, but thanks for watching. Please like the video if you liked it. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more.